Next tonight, a campaigner from Bishop's Taunton in North Devon says she wants those responsible for the contaminated blood scandal to face up to the pain and heartache suffered by thousands of families. Sue Threckle's husband died after contracting HIV and hepatitis. She will give evidence to the contaminated blood inquiry in London tomorrow, as Nick Smith reports. They sat back, in my opinion, and watched the spread of AIDS into the UK. And in 1985, Bob was diagnosed with HIV. For nearly four decades, Sue Threckle has been looking for answers to why her husband and more than 3,000 others across the country died from contaminated blood products. Bob Threckle passed away in 1991, six years after he was diagnosed with HIV, contracted from a batch of blood plasma used to treat his haemophilia. I want them to know what he was like before this happened and the fact that he had managed to have a normal life with a wife, children, his own home, a good job. He'd had to fight for all that. As soon as that treatment came in, it destroyed his life. His health deteriorated so that by about 1990, I suppose, he was very, very poor. He was losing weight rapidly. He was starting to become breathless and blue and his personality changed. You know, it was very, very difficult at home, especially with three children. The infected blood saga has been described as the greatest scandal in NHS history, with plasma sourced from high-risk individuals, such as drug addicts, and given to patients without proper screening during the 1970s and 80s. An inquiry is currently underway, and tomorrow Sue will present her case to those she deems responsible. I think they are terrified about what's going to come out. I hope they are. They need to be forced to deal with the fallout. And if these people have to be dragged kicking and screaming into that inquiry room, fine, so be it. We're not going to shed any tears over that. It's no good them sitting down and saying, oh, well, it was a long time ago. You know, I can't remember very well. It was a long time ago for us as well, and we remember every minute. The Department of Health says it is committed to being open and transparent in the inquiry. And Sue hopes by telling her story, she may help herself and others find the closure they've been desperately seeking. Nick Smith, ITV News, Bishop's Taunton.